I've been a teacher in one form or another for over 25 years, and in that time I've come to realize I haven't been able to teach anybody anything. Now, before you stop listening to me, uh, let me explain. The reason I've made this brash statement is because I believe that the best that I can do as a teacher is create a learning environment that takes into account all the necessary factors to facilitate learning and helps the learner to learn. The learning is what the learner does. Now, I borrow this idea of the learner being responsible for the learner from the renowned American philosopher and educator, Mortimer Adler, who stated, teaching is a very special art, sharing with only two other arts, agriculture and medicine, an exceptionally important characteristic. A doctor may do many things for his patient, like provide medication, set a broken bone, uh, provide other care, but in the final analysis, it's the patient himself who must get well. Similarly, the farmer plants the seeds uh, or feeds the animals, but it's the plants and the animals that must ultimately grow. Similarly, although the teacher may help his student in many ways, it is the student himself who must do the learning. Knowledge must grow in the mind of the student if learning is to take place. Like the doctor and the farmer, the teacher creates the right environment and through that environment controls all the variables that they can to promote and facilitate learning. Now, I challenge you to broaden and clarify your thinking about teaching and learning. Rather than allow yourself to get caught up in the tyranny of the urgent and reactively respond to the myriad of forces that focus you on teaching or covering the content or delivering the curriculum, you must move towards proactively planning and building significant learning environments. While the content and the curriculum are important and play a very significant role in your learning environment, they are only parts of the bigger picture. Now, whether you are intentional or not about building learning environments, your classroom, the online space, or wherever you meet your learner is a learning environment. For the most part, you have control over this environment. So I encourage you to take charge of all the variables that you can control and employ all the factors that can help your learner to make those meaningful connections that are so necessary and important for learning to take place.